Hi there, in this video we're going to be solving the following problem. Find the third order derivative of the, the following function. Um, x squared negative 3x sine x. Now to answer this we're going to be using the product rule right here. And well, in order to do this we just we literally take the derivative over and over and over at least three times. So let's let's go ahead and get find the first order derivative. So the first order derivative, the f1, is going to be equal to, well, what's the derivative of x squared? That's going to be a 2x. We factor out the negative 3 for just convenience. Now we have to use the product rule to find the derivative of x sine x. So f is going to be x in this case, and g is going to be sine x. Now, um, what's the derivative of, of f, uh, what it, or in this case, um, x? That's just going to be a 1. Then we leave g alone. g is sine x, so we, we just put a, a, a sine x right here. We have add. Then we find the derivative of g, in this case sine x. So what's the derivative of sine x? Well, that's just going to be a cosine x. Then, what's, then we just leave f alone. f is x. So let's just put the x out here. So let's just simplify this a bit. We have a 2x here. 2x negative 3 sine x. And then we're going to have a negative, a negative 3x cosine x. And this would be equivalent to the first order derivative. Now we just have to find the second order. So um, f of x with the denotion of two prime symbols here is equal to, well, we have to take the derivative of this new term, the first order again, or just now. So what's the derivative of 2x? That's just going to be a 2. Then what's the derivative of negative 3 sine x? Well, that's just going to be a negative 3 cosine x. And now what's the derivative of this last term? Well, again, let's factor out the negative 3. And what's the derivative of um, x cosine x? Well, we have to use the product rule again. So in this case, f is going to be x right here, and g will be cosine x. So what's the derivative of x? That's just going to be a 1. What's the derivative of sine x? Well, that's going to be negative, negative sine x. And then we have to do add. Or rather, um, in the first term, we don't actually take the derivative of the g. We have to leave the g alone. So we just put a cosine x right here. Then we do add. And then we find the derivative of the second term, the, or rather the um, g, the cosine x. That would be negative sine x. And I'm just going to move it down a bit so I have more room. And then we just add a, we leave the, the f alone in, this, in the second part. So we just put an x right out here. And that would be, this would be the derivative of the last third term right here. Now let's just simplify it a bit. We have a 2 here. And well, we see we have a negative 3 cosine x here. But we also see we have one right here. So if we just uh, multiply this one through and add them together, we would have a negative 6 cosine x. And then we have a negative, we have a negative 3 sine x right here overall. Then we have, we're multiplying it by, a, well, we have overall, we have a negative sine x right here, or uh, with this out front. And if we multiply it throughout by negative 3, we're going, we're going to get a positive 3, a positive 3 uh, x sine x as our final result. And this would be the second order derivative. So just uh, making some room for myself, I'll just erase the top part here because we don't really need the first order again. We just need to use the second one. And the second one is basically at the bottom right there. I'm just going to rewrite it up here actually. Then erasing all of this, let's find the, the third order derivative, the last one that we the question actually wants. So what is the order or what is the derivative of the first term? Negative 6 cosine x. Well, that's just going to be a positive um, sine x, or positive 6 sine x. So we're going to have a 6 sine x here, because the derivative of cosine is negative sine x, and negative multiply the negative out front here will make it positive. So we just have 6 sine x here. Then add. Now we have to take the derivative of this term, the 3x sine x. If we factor out the 3, we'll just have to take it from the x sine x here. We have to use the product rule again. What is the derivative of x? Well, that's just going to be a 1. Then we leave the g alone, which is going to be sine x. And add. Then add the derivative of g. That's going to be a cosine x. And then we, we just leave the um, x alone. So we add x again to the outside. And then we that, that's the derivative of this, t this term right there. Now we take the derivative of the, of the last term. That's just going to be a 0. So just add 0. And this essentially is the second or either the um, third order derivative. But let's just simplify it out a bit because this looks like, oh, well, it's quite a mess. So we have 6 sine x add. Then we have, what do we have here? We have a 3 
sine x again. Then we have a, if we multiply this across, it'll be a plus, then we have 3x cosine x, and then that's it. And notice that we can combine these two terms right here. They're both, um, well, they're both sine x. And if we did that, we would have a equals 9 sine x, then plus, or plus 3, 3x cosine x. And this is going to be the final answer, the third order derivative of f of x. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer them. And I do hope you're having a fantastic day.